for me, dialysis is a lifesaver. You make up your mind that this is what needs to be done, and you do it. Simple as pie. My name is Ronald Corbin. I uh, originally from Tallahassee. I now live in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I've been in this area since 1980. I moved to teach at Martin County High School, and I taught there for 34 years. And it was the uh, best move I've ever made. The choir there uh, was a custom to travel. We traveled every year. In 34 years, we've been to so many places, London, Paris, Hawaii, Canada. Amazing students, and they sang really well. And it was just so rewarding being in front of them. I don't tell many people this, but what I, I've always done before every performance, I have my music folder, and I sleep with it under my pillow of all the music that we're going to perform. I've done that forever. I don't know if I should have told that. <laughs> My diabetes doctor sent me to a doctor in Stewart because of, he thought I, I was having some problems with the kidneys. And she said, you know, you, you're probably headed toward dialysis. I knew I was headed that way, but I, I thought I was a long ways off, I, you know, because I wasn't having these symptoms. And all of a sudden, just one day, I said, whoa, I can't stand up. Something's wrong. It was frightening at first, because I had a cousin who was on dialysis, and she didn't do very well. But after going and visiting the dialysis center, it was amazing how comfortable they made me feel. I wasn't you know, afraid anymore. I just thought I was gonna be bedridden and not housebound and not have to be able to go anywhere. But uh, that's, that was an eye-opener. I mean, I still do the things that I like to do. Ron is a, is a person that is a doer. He's a perfect example of somebody that has a really good attitude and really nobody or no disease is gonna hold him down. But we're gonna let you know how how successful you can be and how you can have a, still have a, an active life. It's not like uh, I'm going to do a doctor to be examined, it's gonna hurt. It's just something I'm going to get some help and these people are here to help me get through what they're gonna do for me. They're pleasing, they're, they're helpful, they always ask me how I'm doing. It's just, it's family. My dietitian Diane, I see her about twice a week. Once I read the literature about how much and, and the amount of food I could, I could eat, I said, well, this is something I have to do. I, I mean, you know, you, you do it or you, you die. So I, I, I decided, made up my mind to do it. And the amount of portions are, has not been a problem right now. The liquid is, is, is what I'm having a problem with. And having to cut back to one liter a day, it's quite a challenge. But I'm working on that. <laughs> All right, Ron, well, you take care okay. of it. Okay. Well, thank you. Good team here, so. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I attempt to play golf. I'm also the organist at one of the Episcopal churches down in Stewart. I love fishing. When we go fishing, we usually go about three something in the afternoon. You just sit, pole in the water. If the cork sinks, you pull it. When I got out of the hospital, one of my former students, she was there every day. She took care of me. She uh, helped clean my house. Not having that kind of support, it's, uh, it's just been a blessing. My life lesson is that if you treat people the way they should be treated, you'll get treated the same way, and you'll be blessed. And I've been blessed, and I'm still being blessed, and I'm thankful for that. I just hope I'm making a place for me up there. <laughs> That's all. Hope I'm doing the right things. <laughs> nice. Really nice.